Okay. Um, so this one's a bit of a long one, but um, I think quite neat. So first we've got a, a wheel sprock, a pedal sprocket of radius RP. And so that would be attached to a pedal. And this is attached to a wheel sprocket of radius RW. And these two are attached by a chain. And the wheel sprocket is attached to an outer wheel, which is going to be just a horrible looking wheel, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, that thing would not, would not work. But assuming that's circular, um, it has a radius of capital R. Um, so RP is 11 centimeters, RW is 5.5 centimeters and capital R is 68 centimeters. Okay. Um, and so it's given in the problem that um, our period, um, our period um, of revolution is 1.2 seconds for our, our pedal sprocket. Um, now these two are connected by a chain without slipping. So, um, and so the first question just asks, um, do the pedal and wheel have the same And the first one is angular and tangential speed. Uh, that's probably not how you spell that. It's not, there we go. Okay. So, um, first of all, uh, V is equal to omega R. So V relates your tangential speed to your angular frequency. Um, as the two have different radii, right? It's impossible for the two objects to have the same angular and tangential speed. Um, so that's just always an impossibility unless they have the same radius. Um, Okay, so moving forward from there, uh, tangential speed I don't open an eye in there. Um, at outer edge. So in this case, we have our pedal sprocket attached to our wheel sprocket. And so that means that the tangential speed here is being directly linked here. So they're being pulled at exactly the same tangential speed because they're being pulled one, um, yeah, every, every second that these are, uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to say that without, without getting into angular, so. So they do indeed have the same tangential speed because they're both being uh, pulled by the same by the same chain. So this one is correct. Um, and just to continue through the other ones to rationalize why they're incorrect. So the other ones are centripetal acceleration. And again, um, our centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. And so because they have different radii, 
Um, it'll be impossible for them to have the same centripetal acceleration. And the fourth one is radius, which again, it's given in the question that they don't have the same radius. So it's for A, the answer is just tangential speed and outer edge, at outer edge, sorry. Uh, so B, <coughs> B asks us then to uh, solve for the angular speed for the pedal. Okay. So we're given that the period is 1.2 seconds. So that means omega is 2 pi over the period, which is just 5.23. 599, nine, 1 over seconds. And then C asks us to solve for uh, the tangential velocity. Um, so recalling that the R for the pedal is 11 centimeters. Um, then V equals omega R, which equals 5.23599, 1 over seconds, times 11 centimeters. Uh, conversion, we want to convert between centimeters and meters, so that is 1 meter per 100 centimeters, and we get 0 0.57596 meters per second. Um, and then D is now to correlate this to, uh, to calculate the angular frequency of our wheel. So remember in part A, we said that um, the tangential velocity of the wheel and the, and the pedal sprocket are the same, meaning that is our tangential velocity. So that means we can use our um, V equals omega R expression, but we'd rearrange for our omega, so omega is V over R. And so it's just 0.57596 meters per second over our radius. So our radius for our wheel sprocket is 5.5 centimeters with conversion for um, meters, centimeters to meters. So the centimeters will cancel. And uh, I did something wrong there. Um, oh no, I didn't. Okay, and the meters are canceled. There you go. <laughs> um, and so, punching this through our calculator, we get um, ten point four seven one over seconds. Um, we would expect this as this frequency is about double the pedal sprocket and the wheel sprocket is about half the radius of the pedal sprocket so that means that's what we'd expect from from that conversion so moving from a moving to a half radius is going to double the the frequency um, okay and then um, it wants us to calculate um, v v for the large wheel. Um, yeah. So in this case now, because the wheel sprocket and the wheel are both connected, they're both going to spin at the same angular frequency. So then v is omega r, where r is the radius for the large wheel, 
So that's 10.47 1 over seconds times our radius. And then throwing in conversions for meters per second, which is then, if we run this through a calculator, uh, 7.12 meters per second. Okay, and then the last part of this question asks um, how fast or what would be the period uh, for the pedal if we want V equals 7 point or 6.0 meters per second. So now we need to just go backwards. So um, that means our omega for our wheel would be uh, six meters per second over our radius, which is six meters per second over 68 centimeters, uh, multiplying by the appropriate conversion. And running this through our calculator, we get <clears throat> um, 8.824 1 over seconds. Now this uh, frequency is going to be the same frequency as for our wheel sprocket. So that means omega wheel is um, V over R for the wheel. So that's V, that V is then our tangential velocity. So we can solve for our tangential velocity for the wheel sprocket as omega times R, which is going to be the same omega because both the large wheel and the wheel sprocket spin at the same frequency. The radius of the wheel sprocket is our 5.5 centimeters. And throwing in appropriate unit conversions. In this case, really for no reason, but doing it anyway. Running this through our calculator, we get 0 0.4853 meters per second. Now this Tangential velocity will be the exact same as for our, um, our pedal. So our omega pedal is this V over our pedal. This, now this V will be our V, so 0.4853 meters per second over the pedal uh, radius, which is 11 centimeters throwing in appropriate unit conversions so that the stuff cancels. When we punch in our calculator, we get 4.4117 1 over seconds. And now our period is 2 pi over omega p. So 2 pi over 4.4117 1 over seconds, which equals 1.424 seconds. All right. So <clears throat> uh, that one is significantly less legible when I shrink it down. Um, but we can go through the solution here. Um, so they have the same tangential speed at their outer edges. The angular speed of the sprocket is can be found from the period as 5.2, which is right there. So that looks good. The linear speed of the outer edge is computed from uh, that expression, 
which comes out to be 57.2 uh, centimeters per second. Um, oh, I guess I carried around quite a few extra digits, so there's probably just some rounding error in there. Um, <clears throat> since the tangential speeds are equal, we can use this to calculate our um, our omega for our wheel, which comes out to be 10.4 rads per second, so that's there. Um, converting our to meters and substituting in the values, um, we get a speed of 7.1, so that looks good. And then uh, for F to calculate our final value, they get um, one point oh one. So they again, this is another example of trying to take a shortcut and doing it wrong. So shortcuts are great; they save you some time, but um, if you don't do it right, it doesn't work out. So. Um, they got one second, which um, our answer is different. I guess we don't know which one is the correct one. Um, but I would point out that the period should be longer than originally stated in the question because we're now going slower. So my period is 1.4 seconds, which is higher than the 1.2 seconds in the question. And that, so that makes sense because we're traveling slower. Whereas if your period was one second, that would mean that you, um, that you were actually traveling faster. So it doesn't make any sense. So this is again a, a case where they miss some factor. So I would recommend doing it, doing it out fully rather than trying to take a shortcut and making a mistake. Um, I'll say the solution is largely Correct. Um, F is in error. Value should be at one point four two seconds. I'm going to say it's correct.